At a cemetery in Tehran, you will see two graves. One for a woman that the world knows as Neda. She was killed by a sniper's bullet in last June's post-election protests. Nearby, the grave of a young man who was also gunned down. His name is known to few, but his family and friends. As Asaya reports, they want his story shared. <laughs> June 20th, 2009. A cell phone camera captures the dying moments of Neda Agha Sultan. Today, much of the world knows who Neda is. Very few know Ramin Ramazani, even though he was among the first of Iran's post-election protesters to be killed. I miss everything about him, his search for justice, his humanity, and how he loved Iran. He always said, Mom, there's no better place than Iran. From their home in Tehran, Zahra and Mehdi Ramazani spoke by phone with CNN about losing their son. They'd never talked to the international media, but they say nine months of keeping quiet and not knowing who killed Ramin is enough. What happened to us can't get any worse. Our son was completely innocent and defenseless when he was killed. Ramin was killed on June 15th. Hundreds of thousands protested that day. Three days earlier, President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad had been re-elected in a landslide. Protesters called the vote a fraud. Ramin was among the crowd on leave from military duty, six days away from his 22nd birthday. Around 7 p.m., violence erupts at this base for the besiege, Iran's pro-government militia. Protesters throw rocks. Amateur video posted on YouTube shows security forces firing shots. It was here, Ramin's parents say, that a single bullet entered their son's chest and tore through both his lungs. They say over the course of a week, they searched five hospitals, visited two courthouses and the interior ministry. They finally found their son at a prison morgue. I've just said goodbye to his remains. I kissed his face. I just beg God not to let his blood go in vain. This blood spilled for no reason. Ramin's father says a security official asked him to sign a letter promising not to publicize his son's death. They said it wouldn't be good for your future and the future of your children. We didn't even bring our child back home to give him a memorial. Today, five grave sites separate Neda Agha Sultan and Ramin Ramazani. Ramin's parents say they don't want the attention Neda is getting. All they want is someone to tell them who killed these two young Iranians and why. If only just for once, he would come into my dreams so I could tell him what has happened to us. For the rest of our lives, we've had to suffer and ask why did we have to lose you? We contacted judiciary and security officials about this case, but those calls were not returned. Human rights groups say at least 80 protesters in Iran have been killed since the elections. The government has charged several prison officials with torturing several detainees to death, but no one has been charged in the killings of Ramin Neda and scores of others. Police have told Ramin's parents they're still investigating. Reza Sayah, CNN, Islamabad. Reza reporting there from Pakistan. Because